Hi everyone, I feel brave enough today to fill um, to fill uh, my Lamy Safari Pen converter with ink, and so I thought I will um, share this process with you. So um, I will show you what it looked like before. So here's my other Lamy Safari. So this is the Lamy ink um, cartridge that comes with it well um, that I ordered and you basically pull it out and you end up with this situation so there is nothing in here okay however there will be some ink left in this bit here so all you need to do is just run it on a tissue until you pretty much get most of the ink out so that will be the ink that was previously used you don't want to mix the old ink with the new ink as you can see there is hardly anything there try to write with it feels quite dry so almost all of it is gone so nothing is coming out of, out of that um, only a little bit on the tip so I'll take you maybe a minute or two so that should be enough so the way that you use the converter so I ordered um, both the pan and the Lamy converter on Amazon and you um, see this red bit here so what it does is moves this black bit inside so what you want to do is screw it to the top and then insert it and then you're going to use it like a syringe so you put it in your bottle and you won't see this part obviously and then you're going to turn this red bit um, the other way so that it will start I'll demonstrate it here so you can see it'll start filling it up it sucks, sucks up the ink pulls it up and then you leave it like that and that's how you use it okay so I'm going to do that now so I'm going to pull it close to me so that I don't stick the pan too deep in let's see that should do it Yep, I can see the ink. There we go. Then always have a tissue next to it so you can kind of wipe it to avoid mess. And that's the ink in here. Inside you can see, I hope. Um, this ink seems to be um, kind of thicker almost the way it moves than the Lamy ink um, now don't make the mistake by seeing this air bubble and then starting to twist it up because the ink is going to um, spray out of the tip so then I'm going to put the tip back quickly put the cap back on because ink is um, is likely to go everywhere when the cap is off and so that is it so I just it seems to be impossible to clean the nip because the more you wipe it the more comes out and that probably has to do with the fact that it's quite an intense ink so this is it it was super easy super quick and i will try to maybe write it with it since you might want to see that um so i'll just write happy friday i think Um, 
how would I compare it to the Lamy ink? On first sight. Um, I think to begin with it doesn't look like much of a difference in terms of just looking at it but the difference that is there is the um, the ink itself which I have a separate video about it so if you want you can have a look um, When it's a thin line, you're not going to notice this much. However, when you thicken this line up, the ink is visibly darker than if you're comparing it to um, to the Lamy ink. Let me know what ink you like to use in your pans, in your fountain pans. Have I mentioned that the ink I've used in the bottle, in case I haven't, it's the Platinum Carbon Ink, which is great for using with watercolours. Like I said before in my video, if you want to see that, it's not 100% waterproof, but it does a good job for sure. And again, if you want, go and see that video. But I will quick, quickly show you that basically here the watercolor was used with this ink and it hasn't mixed at all so it hasn't made it muddy or dirty looking okay so i hope that helps you and i'm super happy that i now can um use it up actually as a matter of fact because i have the lamy ink in this pen i might want to do something over here just notice this line it's thickening up as well so maybe I'll do a little comparison. So I think I'll write um, to beautiful faces because I'm, I'm kind of currently into painting faces. So let me go ahead and try to write this and then Um, it's hard to um, compare it like this. It doesn't really have that big of a difference, does it? I mean, the Lamy ink is, is great. Um, the only reason I had to look for a different... Um, it's great for writing, but I needed something for illustrating and for using sort of with watercolors and all that which it kind of it's not waterproof so but as you can see writing with it is beautiful so I can see now a difference I wonder if you can see so basically the difference that I can see it's that Lamy's ink is a true black whereas this one the carbon ink, sorry, is a, um, how should I say, is a warm black. Hopefully you can see it now. It's actually hard to pick it up on camera. Let me see if I can bring it up. Yeah, I think you can see it now. So, but when you are illustrating with it, it looks black. It, it, it looks quite intensely black. So... Well, I hope this was helpful to you. 
Predominantly the reason was to show you how to use the converter with a little extra of um, perhaps comparing the inks and writing and things like that as well. So thanks for watching. See you soon.